Now, let's say, okay, for whatever reason, all right, and we, it's a very simple package play. We're going to go from mid zone over here, okay, to wide zone over here, okay? All right, why are we going to go to wide zone over here, right? The quarterback in the huddle, he would say, we're going to package, check with me. Let's go 35, okay? We go, let's say we called trips, trips right, okay? That means three guys to the right, trips right, 35 or 38, okay? And maybe, uh, you know, he goes red, 38, or uh, blue, red to the right, blue to the left, whatever, green to the right, uh, maybe red's a live color, whatever, however your audible checkoff system is, and we're going to read that second guy, okay? If he can get him, let's say he's deep, he might just block the corner. He might have to drive and crack. But if he can get the second guy, we're going to run the one-back zone play weak. If for whatever reason the second guy gets down in here or gets in the box, we can't run the one-back zone play, then we're going to run the wide zone over here. It's a package, right? So, for example, let's say we came up with some look like this, all right? And we've got our three by one over here, all right? And let's say, oh my God, they put the uh, will back around the end of the line. They got the mic here. They're going to do one of those fire zones, you know, where the free safety is coming down here, okay? Because they're all pinching and looping and doing stuff like that. Then the quarterback will see that the free safety's cheated down. They're going to blitz. You know, the free safety's got to cover this zone. You know, the strong safety's going back to the middle. Uh, you know, the SAM defender uh, is, is out here somewhere. I'm sorry, the SAM defender's here. The strong safety's over here. He's running back to the middle. Now we'll audible to the wide zone. He'll say red 88, red 88. And the bottom line is we'll run the wide zone. And he just runs that guy and the ball will go up underneath them. Okay, so I'd give you a couple other examples. Let's say uh, we saw a look like this. Let's say we have a three technique over here and the end's in a nine, okay? And, and this linebacker's here, and uh, they've got a, a, a mic backer there and a will backer right there, and they've got all the backers in the box. Excuse me, they brought the free safety down the box, excuse me. I'm gonna show you the look again, my error. All right, I've got the nose tackle, I got the will. They put the free safety right in the box, they got the will, I got the mic, I got the end, I got the Sam over here. Sam's walked away. Okay, same situation. The free safety's here, the second guy, right? We're gonna run the one back zone play. Boy, he's right down in the box. All right, boom, we're gonna check off to the wide zone. How are we gonna block the wide zone? We're gonna, everybody gonna reach like the Dickens, all right? We're going to go like hell, let that guy go. We run the wide zone. He's going to block him. He's going to block the corner. So the bottom line is the combination of the wide zone. Now, occasionally on the wide zone, you might want to G block it. You know, block down, block down, pull. But I guess if I were going to give you a theory, okay, about the zone scheme, the play that I like the best, that if you could take my play and adjust it to what you see, get yourself in a three-by-one set. Three guys to the right, one guy to the left. Your three guys to the right might be a wing, okay, like that, all right? And you got one guy sitting out in here. But try to make this one back zone play go weak. If you can't make it go, call me and I'll help you. Get that, because why was the one back zone play weak good? Because you've got one guy over here to block a corner or a free safety. You're only going to read that guy, the second guy in, Okay, if he's coming down and too close to make the tackle, you're going to run the wide zone over here. How wide is the wide zone? The wide zone is two yards outside the, ghost or the tight end, and you're going to get out into space. Why would you run way over here? You're going to run way over here because you know the blitz or the safety's coming down over here, and they're going to be soft on this side. And even though they're going out, when the back goes wide, he can put his foot in the ground and still cut up. But you're trying to get away from all the garbage. So...